Hello everyone, Time to Grind here, and today we're back with some Time to Strike because it got a massive update, including an update that added our Rainbow Monstera Leaf. So, you guys don't know, right? Rainbow Monstera Leaf that's in Munch's mouth on my merch, uh, which you can get, <laughs> link down below. Um, but, uh, you know, Time to Strike, an amazing fun roguelike that we've played. I think we've done four episodes before, and they added my leaf to the game as a boss relic. So we're gonna play the game, play the new update, have a lot of fun with it, cause this is a fun game that we've been playing and also try to play until we actually can get our item. So I believe now uh, they actually changed the game. You no longer uh, are, have like starting weapons. You actually have starting characters. They're taking a little bit more inspiration from um, uh, Brotato, I think, which I think is a really good change here. There's all of these new change or all of these new characters here. They also have different like starting relics and stuff like that, which is really cool. So uh, let's try the inventor. What spark generator on any weapon trigger? Uh, shoot one homing spark towards a random direction, and we have slug shot trigger first non-starting. Oh, I don't have them unlocked. We have to pay for the currency to unlock them. Never mind. Never mind. I lied. We're gonna play the sheriff. <laughs> On first relic pickup, gain two additional copies. 30% chance to shoot more powerful piercing bullets. Okay, cool. We're going to play as the uh, sheriff. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, we still get to have three trinkets at the start. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and choose... Uh, we're going to go ahead and choose homing, more health, and... Um, plus one option. Oh, no. I, was, I thought it was boss rewards because, yeah, we do... It's a boss relic here. So we're just gonna say range and bounce. And we've never beaten danger five. Uh, there, it gives us a reroll for all rewards. So we've never beaten danger five here. So this is pretty cool. Pretty cool update, I think. If you guys have never seen this game, right, we kill enemies and then we, uh, we either choose weapons, uh, relics, or mods to our weapons. So it's all about modding and creating some really broken things here. So uh, let's do a turret build. Summon turrets that attacks nearby enemies. Wait, because it was the first relic pickup game, two additional copies. Okay, we'll just do turret, summon turret, attacks nearby enemies. Turret inherits all weapons, stats, and effects. Okay, we'll do that. Turret builds are fun here. Uh, we also have a limited amount of ammo that will regenerate eventually. If we right click and hit someone, it regenerates all of our ammo instantly, but there is a stamina bar separately for that. Okay, here's our relic. So when we take it, we're gonna gain two additional copies, uh, which is very interesting. Um, plus 100 damage to enemies, 70 to above 75 health. So I'm gonna take that. So we have three of that. So I think we're gonna just start one-shotting everybody. We shoot a lot slower now, but we are just one-shotting everyone, I believe. I think that means my turret might one-shot them as well. That's pretty good. Um, all attacks, again, more damage. On hit, shoot bullet. So this is a weapon mod now, right? So we're gonna say, um, I'm gonna reroll this here. Uh, we will. Yeah, I, 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 re I don't recognize a lot of these. There's already so many unique things here, or so many new things. Um, 15, minus 15 percent damage, plus 15 flat spread on any kill for each empty health point. Oh. More flat damage, minus bullet speed, accelerating bullets, on hit 20. Okay, we'll put a laser marker on the turret. Right. Um, oh, also, yeah, I need to change the stream title. You are 100% you are right. Okay. So we're still just one-shotting everybody. You can also hit back red projectiles at enemies. Um, you can't do that for orange ones here. Okay, bounty. Mark two, every two seconds, mark two random enemies on kill. If enemy was marked, 10% chance to spawn health pickup. Okay, let's do that. Maybe do a bunch of marking stuff here as well. So like, if you guys haven't seen this series before, right? We've done some crazy broken things. Like we created some really, really broken um, like minigun builds, uh, we've uh, created really broken sniper builds, tank builds, I think was last time we played. We haven't played in a little bit, but yeah, we technically did some uh, some really fun tank builds. Um, okay, so we're getting a new weapon here. Is any of them about marking? Uh, I'm going to reroll one time here. Infector. Every 3.25 seconds shoot bursts of bullets to nearby enemies. Energy sword on kill shoot one accelerating chaining projectile trigger chain lightning on an enemy hit. You know, what? we'll do that We'll do that every time I kill someone. Oh my 
you, like, you can create some of the most broken combos in this. Okay, wep weapon mod. Ooh, turret scrap. On trigger, 30% chance to shoot bullets to nearest enemy on last shot. Summon scrappy turret that inherits all weapon stats and effects. We're going to put that on our main weapon here. So now every time we run out of ammo, we're going to create a new turret. Brand new turret. This is sick. I'm going to do a Crab Champions run on True Nightmare. What weapon should I use? What path should I go? I mean, it's hard for me to say. A lot of times, you just got to go with what the game gives you. You know, like a lot of times, I'll just like, I'll play. And that goes for roguelikes in general. It's like, it's so hard sometimes to try to force builds. Crab Champions is a little bit different because you can choose a starting weapon. But uh, a lot of times, I'll just play with what what I, uh, what I, what, what I get going. Um... Max ammo, max dashes, more health pickup drops. This is a new relic. Um, on kill, 70% chance to summon a zombie, sure. Holy shit, this is, gonna, this is going to go hard. How have I never seen you play this before? Yeah, we've done four episodes before. Uh, very fun series. Look at all of these zombies that we have now, too. Like, the different types of builds you can get are so cool. And now with this giant update, with the, them being more character-focused, is, uh, is really cool. I think that's probably the way to go. I did like the idea of, like, you know, being able to create just a really bunch of different weapons, but... It's a big change for the game, honestly, but... It's a very, uh, it's a smaller indie dev and stuff like that. I think solo dev. I think he's trying to do anything he can to, you know... Make the game do better. Very cheap game as well. You guys are... It's not sponsored or anything, but... Okay, so here's a boss. And so our relic here is a boss relic. So we might find our relic here already. We have to see. I don't know how lucky or unlucky we might get. We're fighting the bloodthirsty executioner. Also, I don't remember if we've ever beaten Danger 5. I can't remember if we beat Danger 5 last time we played or not. <gasps> we already found it. We already found it. First try. It isn't rainbow, but I suppose that's fair because, uh, you know, it does. I don't think rainbow would fit this uh, this uh, uh, style. But okay, so this is our relic here. It's purple uh, boss relic grinds monstera. I love that. I love that. On non summon. Okay, let's see here. On non-summon enemy death, so when an enemy dies that's not a summon, I have a 5% chance to spawn a max health pickup. So we have max HP scaling like all of our other uh, leaves. Uh, also on pickup, pickup. Wait, when we pick up this pickup? Or, or no, when we pick up any pickup, when we pick up any pickup, shoot six rotating piercing leaves for each point of max health. And more leaf damage. What? Okay, let's see. Oh, look at this. It's following us. Okay, so when we kill an enemy, 5% chance to get a max health pickup, which I've never seen before. Uh, and also, every time we pick a pickup, then we... Uh... Okay, so here we go. What is this? Woo! Oh, those are rainbow leaves. Look at that. Look at that. They're, they're... Okay, they are rainbow leaves. They are rainbow leaves. That's so cool. This is like actually way more involved than just like a gain max HP. That is sick. Yeah, the dev said it. he was like he was like trust me. I'm a, I'm a cook. I was like okay, I got it. I believe this is sick. This is sick. So we're at um eight max HP. We're gonna see how much max HP we can gain over time. Look at that. Now we're at nine max HP. And max HP is really good in this game. And I like the little rainbow leaves that get flown out. This is sick. This is sick. Okay. Um, okay, choose it. So this is a brand new weapon. On deflect, shoot bullets that will trigger chain lightning on enemy hit. Sure. The dev cooked with this. Yeah. Dev definitely cooked with this. And yeah, okay. So anything that we see that might give us more pickups uh, is definitely something we want. Because look at that. Every time I pick up, we get those rainbow leaves. I wonder if I could take this multiple times. I think you could because it said every time you pick it up, it buffs up. Um, 
Every time you pick it up, uh, it was buffing the leaf damage as well. I don't think there's anything else to do with leaf damage. And it is kind of like when they're at full HP, I do a lot of damage. And when they take some damage already, I kind of already lose it. But this is sick. Yeah, the pickup is a leaf as well. Okay. Um, Snake Friend, Berserker Charm, Scope. So this is a weapon mod. Um, hmm. I'm going to reroll. Okay. <gasps> For each point of max health, get more damage, uh, size, and uh, less bullet speed. Uh, we're going to put that on our main weapon here. So the more max HP I have, the crazier my normal gun is. Which we're going to be gaining a lot of max HP. So kind of like some of the relics we might recognize from last episode. Because last episode we did a max HP build. But I like that our relic isn't just like a max HP thing. It's like a little bit more involved here. Okay, so pick up those rainbow leaves oh this is so cool is this a ttg cooking stream <laughs> yeah we're making a uh, ham and cheese sandwich right now okay i do think they have a little bit more hp i mean probably i know they do because we're on danger five the hardest difficulty i think okay so a relic here i could just get more hammers 100% more damage to enemies above 75% health. And we start one-shotting people again? Nope. Not yet. I want more hammers. How long do these games normally last? Not very long. I think there's only... I don't remember... I think there's, what, only three areas? There's only three or four areas. We're already on 2-4. So the games normally go 15-20 minutes. They are, uh... Not very long. It's a very nice short and sweet roguelike here. But yeah, you it, you can get some broken builds by the end of it. Oh, there's a there's a heart. I think we've gained one more max HP. <gasps> there it is, there it is! Oh we got it, we got it, we got it. Dude, this is sick. It's just crazy to have like, I don't know. We always talk about like trying to go full time and content creation and stuff like that. But like seeing stuff like this, 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 uh, this is nice. This is nice. It's just so crazy. Like as someone that just played way too many video games growing up, right? Always thinking about like items and, and stuff like that. But like now have like multiple indie devs wanting to, to add my game. And this one's a perfect one just because of the name. It's such a coincidence, right? Time to grind, time to strike. Um, for each point of max health, more damage. We're going to go ahead and put that on the uh, energy sword. The thing every time we kill someone. So now by having more max HP, that kind of like chain lightning thing is going to do a lot better. Already got more max HP, another leaf already. So the question is how much max HP can we have by the end here? TCG live in the dream. Hey, right, another leaf. Oh my gosh. We're already on a third row of uh, max HP. So the question is, is using this relic, are we going to be able to get more HP than we had last time? We had a lot of max HP last episode. But it definitely seems like it. The more enemies that spawn, 5% chance for them to uh, drop, drop some max HP. Pretty good. Um, so this is now a relic here. Mm. Every two seconds... I gotta do more marking. If yeah, if enemy was marked, ten percent chance to spawn health pickup. We'll do that because the more pickups in general we spawn, um, the more of uh, the damaging leaves that we're gonna spawn, and that's kind of cool. Yeah, we do like no damage when they're not above seventy-five percent health. Like our entire build is based on because we had so many of hammers because of the sheriff character. And now that the game's like character based too, it's really cool. Definitely a perfect time to pick it up if y'all are looking for a kind of short and sweet uh, 
roguelike. All my zombies here helping out. I didn't lose max HP, did I? I don't think so. I don't think so. It's kind of like look like it, but I think I'm just going crazy. Give me all the pickups. Because, yeah, the leaves are helpful because they're very helpful when we get people under 75% max health. That uh, makes it a little bit better here. Um, so this is a weapon mod now. I'm going to reroll. Mmm. 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 Last reroll. Maybe I should have saved those for the boss ones. I don't know. On hit, 30% chance to trigger chain lightning. All attacks, 25% chance to gain 75% speed. Um, kind of just want also like more damage for the insta kills, but we'll go ahead and get the chain lightning on the already energy sword. Give me my ant. It's like once they have. <laughs> Dude, I do so much damage. I'm doing like 400, 500% extra damage when they're above 75 HP. Percent HP. But the second they're not, dude, I take, I, I do so little damage to them. But it's fine, because we have my leaf, right? This game reminds me a lot of Geometry Arena. Yeah, yeah, Geometry Arena is a fun game. Yeah, we, I think, actually had a, uh, Geometry Arena was something people recommended to us a little bit last year. And uh, we had a lot of fun. We have a whole series on Geometry Arena. Uh, we have a small series on Geometry Arena 2. Cause that game came out in early access, but yeah, this game is very similar to uh, to both of those games. I really like the kind of modular, like the way the upgrading and modding weapon system works in this game quite a lot, though. Okay, on chain lightning trigger, one piercing lightning bolt will fall from above. Sure, so we got a lot of ch uh, chain lightning. Whenever we do that, it's gonna be lightning from above. Oh, dang, look at that. Okay, this is going to be the where there's a boss. So we're hoping to find our weapon again. Or our relic here again. Oh, we found one. Okay, well, we found the pickup, not the relic. But we did get a max HP pickup. Even with all this max HP, we're still taking a lot of damage. That's kind of why, like, I learned, especially on the harder difficulties, it does seem like max HP is really important. Because it's like there's so much, like, bullet hellness uh, that takes place. Really have to be careful, because you got the things that you can. I need to be dodging through more, because yeah, those yellow ones you can't hit back. Hey, got more max HP already. Oh, oh, nice. I got two instances of max HP. Still taking a lot of damage. I think it's just because we can't finish enemies off. We're having such a hard time finishing enemies off. Oh, more max HP. We have now three full rows of max HP, because of my relic here. We need even more pickups. Okay, boss, master necromancer here. So we did a bunch of damage. Oh, I'm at four HP. That's what I'm saying, dude. You can have all the freaking HP in the world. And if you take damage, it's scary. Like, look how little damage I'm actually doing. Once they're not at 75% max HP anymore. Ah, I'm at 3 HP. Looks like this stuff's homing. Gotta be very, very careful. Still at 3 HP. Hoping some of- oh, jeez. Oh, I just realized. Wait, it said non-summon minions. I think it means like these. Oh, I'm at 1 HP. I'm at 1 HP, y'all. Uh-oh. 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 Well, I don't even know what just happened there. We died, though. We died? <laughs> okay, well, let's try one of these other characters. 
Uh, who would be good with our relic here? I'm actually trying to, like, look. Um, Tinky. All weapons will have big stat modifications. Gain four random non-boss relics. Um, on area, enter. Regain one health, 50%. Okay, let's just play as Bob. Let's just play as Bob. We're going to gain max HP already. We're going to say... Um, more max ammo, and Unrementer, 50% chance to regain a health. So between that, we should never take any damage. <laughs> so we don't have my relic anymore. We're looking for it, though. Okay, modded pistol, old cannon. Okay, every 2.75 seconds, shoot two explosive bullets to the nearest enemy, sure. Though I should maybe try to start already looking for things based on max HP. Definitely not gonna... It, it's very nice to be able to hit people regardless. That was such a weird build. But every build in this game is, is very interesting. Um, okay, explosions apply three stacks of poison. So I guess we're doing poison explosion? That's cool. So it's like now we already have an explosion poison build. That's super cool. Um, on hit, 20% chance to detonate all targets poison stack, creating an explosion. Put that on our normal gun here. Item reminds me of the crowbar from Risk of Brain 2. I remember that weapon. I don't remember what it does. Which weapon are you, uh... What does it do in Risk of Brain? Uh, max health. Uh, explode. Okay, okay. Explosion, shoot four piercing bullets in random directions. So we definitely want as many explosions as we can get. Explosion seems to be the build up until the point where we get our, uh, hopefully get our relic. Another bomb build. Okay, new weapon. Uh, every 2.5 seconds, shoot three homing skulls to the nearest enemy that apply three stacks of poison. You know what? I'll take that. Poison's fine. Yeah, we did a uh, bomb build earlier when we were playing Peglin, so... Very relevant to today's stream. Nope. Nope. Early on, game's really easy. It definitely starts to get a lot harder. <clears throat> Uh, on trigger, 30% chance to shoot bursts of bullets that apply two stacks of poison. Or on hit, 70% chance to trigger an explosive. Let's do that on the... Honestly, the death talisman. That's pretty cool. So every time those skulls hit someone, chance to do an explosion, which will do even more poison. I right, see you, man. Uh, the crowbar increases damage when enemies uh, are above 90% health. Okay, yeah, very yeah, very similar to that sheriff starting thing. Okay. Um, on kill trigger explosion. Yep. Every time we kill, we trigger an explosion, which is then doing poison. This is going to be... So broken. We don't really ever ever have to worry about dying with this character. Because we not only have the character giving us extra healing, but we took the one starting relic or whatever of the three choices that gives us even more healing. So if we can actually get my uh, my boss item, then uh, then we'll be we'll be balling. We gonna be ballin'. Okay, here's our boss here. Hopefully we get uh, offered. Uh, oh my gosh, dude, that poison adds up for bosses. That that purple square right there was the true boss. Okay, reroll, reroll. No, I don't know where my boss relic is. Okay, um. 
Oh, 20% more elites on next mod apply. The mod will affect all other weapons too. 35% health pickup drops. Sure. I know. We still got, we got, we got another chance to try to find it though. Uh, once we beat the next boss that we weren't able to beat this time, or last run. This poison explosion build is going to get us there way faster too. Maybe I should include more... I don't know if there were any boss rerolls. It looked like a lot of the things were saying that they were non-boss rerolls. It's like, I can kind of just take all the damage I want and we will be totally fine. Okay, so this is a weapon. Uh, every 3.5 seconds, deal damage to all enemies and apply three stacks of poison. Absolutely. Dude, so explosion poison, dude. This is... And now whatever next mod we take is going to apply to every single one of the weapons that we have instead of just picking one. So if we could get anything that does more explosions or more poison, uh, that would be uh, pretty sick. This is, we're definitely clearing these waves so much faster. Okay, so whatever I take is gonna get to everything else. So probably gonna take, on trigger, 30% chance to shoot bursts of bullets that apply two stacks of poison. On next mod apply, this mod will affect all other weapons. So I put it on the bat, and it should apply to all weapons. Yeah, it is. So everything we're doing is just going to start shooting even more bursts of poison. That's so good. Unfortunately, we're not going to have a ton of time to gain a bunch of max HP. Um, okay. Max health on hurt deal damage to all enemies. This relic gains 100% damage. Plus 100% damage for each point of max health. So we'll take that, Beast Fangs. Just in case we actually uh, find it in area two. This is glorious. This is glorious. So every time I take damage, actually I could just start letting myself take a crap ton of damage because I keep healing so much. So uh, on hit, 75% chance to trigger an explosion. We'll go ahead and put that on our gun now as well. Oh, dude. We are going to start clearing these so fast. I'm fine taking damage because I heal. Wow, dude. This might be one of the more broken builds you've ever gotten. Let's keep in mind, this is Danger 5, so this is the hardest difficulty you've ever played on. Wow. There's a mod that says on kill, 20% chance to heal. Would that then make it 100% if you had five items, or would that just be too OP? I'm not sure, I don't know how it, uh, I don't know how it stacks. 35% uh, spread explosions, shoot more piercing uh, projectiles everywhere. Or, on poison apply, shoot one homing bullet in a random direction, sure. We're applying so much poison. Every time we apply poison, all sorts of... Ch it's like, so it's just like everything starts stacking on top of each other. I want to actually start counting next wave. Next wave, I'm going to count and see how fast I can actually kill the... Uh, clear the wave. So I got to imagine if I focused hard, we could probably do it in under at least 20 seconds. Um, on hit, 20% chance to detonate all targets poison stack, creating an explosion. Sure, we'll put that again on the weapon so we have two instances of that. Okay. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten Mississippi, eleven Mississippi, twelve Mississippi, thirteen Mississippi, fourteen Mississippi, fifteen Mississippi, 
16 Mississippi, 17 Mississippi, 18 Mississippi, 19 Mississippi, 20 Mississippi, 21 Mississippi, 22 Mississippi. A little bit wrong about that. If I had been hurting myself a bunch, maybe, but... Uh, more explosion damage and more explosion size, sure. Dude, I would love if Flex Tate wanted to sponsor my videos. Dude, I would flex tape my asshole for a paycheck. So this is now the boss one here. I don't want to take too much damage. Dude, just this is this build is so much better than the last one <laughs> though in spirit it's not because we don't have my relic but okay 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 we're still we're still we're still taking a lot of damage we'll be a little bit more careful here at the very least we're gonna be able to kill the boss right last time we were struggling very hard just look at all this poison. This poison is going to shred Mr. Grand Champion. No, sir. Dude, I think we might have cleared that. Okay, go. Okay, we're looking for my relic. No, where's my relic? <laughs> Less damage, but more explosion poison chain. Okay, that's very good. But it's not my relic. It is very good, though, for this build. Before we end this video, we have to win with my relic. That's, that's the rule. So even if we win with this, this doesn't count as a true win. Because we didn't have my relic. That's, that's the rules. Um. Um. Thirty percent chance to shoot bursts of uh, bullets that apply stacks of poison. Um. Put that on the melee. Just trying to figure out what to actually put it on. Because if I put it on garlic, then that only triggers every 3.2 something seconds. My hammer I'm using probably more often than that, so. <sighs> uh, we're looking for anything to do with poison or explosion, because max HP hasn't really too much um on poison apply shoot one homing bullet in a random direction we have another one of those that is insane it's gonna just continue the crazy chain reactions oh it's so satisfying Let's go. Okay. Um, I want poison. Okay. On hit, 75% chance to trigger an explosion. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that on the skulls. Another instance of that. I, I think if I had to guess, uh, someone was asking how stats scale in this. I think they're counted as multiple instances. So like with that, I have two different every time those skulls hit someone. I think they have two different instances of 75% chances. Which means that if they both trigger, then we could get two explosions. I don't think it means like it guarantees one. I mean, it sometimes it effectively does, but... Um, two random non-boss relics that you already own on health loss chance to lose max health. No, thank you. 
Sounds really good, but on last shot, apply four stacks of poison to three nearest enemies. Sure. More poison. So now we just want to use all of the ammo until we're out. And then we hammer. We fill all our ammo. Oh, this is amazing. I healed right before I ah, took damage. One of these enemies, this one right here, they, they're like big brain people. They got a big head. Okay. Um, on trigger, 30% chance to shoot bursts of bullets. We have three instances of that on our hammer here. Yeah, that guy, that guy that died right there. Oh my gosh, the chain reaction. Because then, yeah, a lot of the times we don't even have to wait for the poison to kill him because we end up triggering the poison early, which is helping this all just go a lot faster. Okay, we're still getting kind of low though. That's the thing. I need to be careful. I think we're on, I think we only have this wave and then two more waves after this. And I think that's the end. We have a lot of healing at least after we clear this wave. Um, I think we still need to commit. Deflected bullets gain 20 flat damage, 35 homing, and on hit, 35% chance to apply two stacks of poison. Okay. The more poison, the better. Just the chain reaction with all of this is so satisfying. Definitely... If this isn't the most OP build we've ever gotten, then it's definitely one of the most satisfying, that's for sure. But we don't have our we don't have our uh, Monstera leaves, so we'll have to do another run. Another excuse to try out a different one of the new characters. Oh jeez. Yeah, do your chain reaction stuff. I'm also curious how much I'm actually going to heal. I haven't really been paying attention to that. Oh my gosh! You see, now it really matters here because I'm at 3 HP. So I think this is the final fight here. More snakes! Uh, we'll do that on uh, Old Cannon. Okay, I think this is the last uh, combat here. Oh my, did you, oh my. The chain reaction when some of this stuff triggers. Okay. Gotta be careful. We did heal up from like three to six, I think. Oh God, now I'm back to three. And I'm back to, there's, oh man, and I'm, I'm dude, I'm already at one HP. Dude, I. I kept running out of stamina. Dang. Okay, okay. Okay, well we actually still haven't won, so that's perfect. Um, I'm just seeing if any of these cursed blades. Gains one piercing and bounce for each point of max health. I'll unlock that. Oh, oh, when you get these, you get, oh, I got another boss relic reroll. That's helpful. Um, sure. And now we have more mod rerolls. Okay, let's try out... Uh, yeah, let's play Frank. Manly Beard. 50% damage, haste, size, bullet speed, range, and modifications. And he has the Shredder bullets here. Um, can you explain the game real fast? Yeah, so it's all just about, we pick a character, he's got some cool stats. Uh, we get to pick three trinkets here, which I'm gonna go... Health or healing. Uh, we're also, if there's any boss re uh, re rolls, then we would take those. But um, oh, there is for 275 Royal Ring. 
We'll go more health. And we'll say... Um, max ammo, stamina, regeneration. Oh, because, yeah, there's new enemies on Danger 5. Okay, here we go. So, yeah, we, we're in here. We shoot. We have a certain amount of ammo. This time we got a shotgun. And then sometimes we get weapons, which are brand new weapons. Sometimes we get relics, which are working for everything. And sometimes we get mods, which you actually put on a different weapon. So I don't really know what we're doing. Maybe we try to do like thunder. Let's just try to do a bunch of chain lightning with the shotgun here. Uh, shoot bullets that will trigger chain lightning on enemy hit. Every time we deflect. No, that's fine. We're just gonna try to do a bunch of chain, chain lightning this time. That's what we're doing here. Um, and I am gonna still try to get a bunch of max HP. Oh, max health and 25% chain lightning damage. When I'm hurt, trigger chain lightning five times. Perfect. Perfect for this type of build, especially if we could find my relic here. Okay. Um, so this is now a mod. Uh, so on trigger, uh, throw chaining blades to random enemies. Wait. Chaining blades. Chaining lightning is different. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. On any kill for each empty health point, more chance to trigger this weapon. So I'll take Berserker's Charm on... No, I really don't want that. Okay, no, I don't... Okay, okay, you know what? I'll, I'll accept Chaining Blades as part of the Chaining Lightning build. Untrigger throw Chaining Blades to random enemy. Do that on our main weapon here. So we'll do Chaining Lightning and Chaining Blades here. Hoping to find my relic. We have one more boss reroll, so. On chain lightning trigger, piercing lightning bolt will fall from above. Perfect. Gotta be careful. All these, like, mines. Half the enemies, too, when they end up dying they're gonna shoot out a bunch of projectiles so far the build kind of sucks but we're getting there uh, so this is now a new weapon um chaining magazine um chaining okay on kill, shoot one accelerating chaining projectile that will trigger chain lightning on enemy hit. That We had that last time. Perfect for this build. Because now it's every time we get a kill. Chain reactions are actually going to start, start up real well. Okay. Um, this is a weapon mod. Um, looking for chain lightning. Um, on hit, shoot bullets to nearest enemy. There's got to be something literally. We got one more reroll. Um, okay, whatever. We'll just do growth hormones for each point of max health. Get more damage, size, less bullet speed. We'll go ahead and put that on on the uh, the melee here. Ah! They're dropping projectiles when they're dying. So yeah, I'm curious if all the different characters now actually have all their own dangers. I think that's what it was, because they all wore different colors. So it definitely seems like they're uh, going a lot more inspiration uh, from like Rotato and stuff, which I think is a good thing. Rotato got that part down. 
Um, more max ammo. For each missing ammo, starting weapon gains two flat damage and haste. We are a little bit slower, but I'll take that power engine. So we are slower now, but as we fire more, our, uh, our gun gets a lot better. So I would like to get a little bit more ammo. It's almost like escalating shot in Crab Champions for those of you guys that watch that series. And I believe we're, we're fighting the boss here. I believe we're going to get access to our relic here. I have a feeling in my bones. Especially with that extra reroll that we now have access to. Oh, dude, I, I just sent back like all those projectiles back at him. Okay, we have three rerolls. Come on. No! Where's my relic? <laughs> what? Each summon, 30% chance to shoot lightning. I'm salty. On trigger effects, trigger more often. Less health pickup drops. <sighs> Convert all piercing to chaining. Uh, sure. So if we get any, so piercing now could help get us more chain stuff. I don't know how many boss relics are in the game. I know that we need to, uh, we'll use our currency uh, after this to, to try to get that one thing that gets us more boss relic reworks or whatever. Um, I'm still looking for the chaining lightning. There's a bunch of other types of chaining. But I'm looking for chaining lightning. Um, oh, this is a new weapon. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, okay. Shoot one piercing bullet to nearest enemy for each point of max health. More flat damage for this weapon. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. I don't know, I'm still feeling like my damage isn't like amazing though. I'm not feeling like we're, we got amazing stuff. Um, Come on, I want Shaining Lightning. Uh, hmm. Whatever. On any kill, more flat damage for five seconds. We'll, we'll put that on our main weapon here. Maybe that'll kind of like help the chain reaction stuff. Flat damage seems pretty decent. Man, we are still taking a lot of damage though. Um. Hmm. Max health. Um. Oh, there we go. Okay. On oh, on poison apply, forty percent chance to trigger chain lightning. Okay. Whatever. I'll take that and I guess attempt to get some poison. I don't know. I don't know. This poison is good for the bosses. Because, yeah, chain lightning would be good. Okay, um... So I suppose I'm okay with poison as well. Mm. Okay, 30% chance to shoot bursts of bullets that apply stacks of poison. 
Okay. So we'll do Snake Friend on our main weapon here. Should hopefully help us get way more Chain Lightning now. The more poison we get, the better. Yeah, I already feel like I'm getting way more. I'm getting way more Chain Lightning now. Absolutely way more. Um. All right, this is a relic here. More poison damage. I do lose max health on poison. Apply, apply two additional stacks. Sure. So we are extremely weak. Extremely weak here. Daddy. Okay, 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 okay. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. That the, the doubling of the poison is insane. Especially if we actually get any more poison. That is going to add up. Okay, weapon mod. We're looking for poison or chain lightning. Um Let's see here. Uh Oh, there we go. On hit, 30% chance to trigger chain lightning attacks. Have a 25% chance to gain 75% speed. We'll put that on our hammer here. Okay. Yeah, I just need to play this game for a week until we find our mod. <laughs> we got really lucky. It was our. F it was the first relic offered to us. Um. We have not seen it since. But we're on 2-7 right now. Uh, we fight the bosses on uh, 8 of each area. So next wave, we'll fight the boss. Hopefully have a chance to uh, to actually find our relic here. Because we're like I said, this video is not getting ended until we win a Danger 5 run with my relic. It's a tall order. It'll be like a 4-hour video. But that's, that's what's happening here. Uh, plus 15 poison... 15% poison tick speed. On kill, apply five stacks of poison to a random enemy. Absolutely. Oh, dude, yeah, this is... That's going to start causing so much more chain reaction. So here we go. We're on the boss wave. Probably going to be able to chain react pretty easily. Um, still pretty weak, though. Uh, in terms of my HP. I do think that really awesome poison equals chain lightning. That was the one that made me lose two max HP. I think we also picked up something that was giving us less health drops as well. <laughs> so kind of risky here. Danger five is like the first time. I don't know. Maybe the game got harder or something because yeah, we, we would like destroy all of the oh, difficulties before this point. Danger five seems to be like the first one. It's like real challenging here. Oh jeez, I am at two HP. I don't have very much HP anymore, y'all. I don't know what to do. Okay, boss time. I have one HP. All these mines everywhere. I got one HP. No! No! Okay, do I have enough? Okay, okay, okay. We do have enough. That's perfect. That's perfect. Because here, okay, now we're gonna play as Um Yo, play as a sniper. Piercing on first bullet, piercer chain, 100 percent damage, uh, bullet size homing, piercing. And now we can go ahead and unlock plus five boss reward rerolls. So that plus max HP. Uh plus on room enter, 50% chance to regain a health. This should be it here. This should be it. We have eight boss rerolls. If we can't get my item with this, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Okay. Uh, this is a weapon. Weapon can hold 20 charges every 0.125 seconds. Consume one charge to shoot bullets to nearest enemy. Okay. Um, on kill, shoot three blades to random enemies. 
Let's do that. Let's do that. SpongeBob narrator one week later. I know I had one HP in a dream. It just wasn't a successful dream. Um. So we're going. I don't know. Uh. This is a relic here. Okay, here we go. Plus one max health on hurt deal damage to all enemies. This relic gains damage for each point of max health. I'm gonna try to go ahead now that I know we'll most likely actually be able um, to find our relic. We'll start trying to go a bunch of max HP. This is a weapon mod. Um, more range and bounces. That's what I want to give this sniper. Dude, I want to shoot this sniper and just have it, yeah, literally like hit like seven enemies. If I can just, that's what I'm going to do for the sniper. Um, ooh, bullet fries. More damage. We lose a crap ton of ammo, but for each point of max health, we get more uh, ammo. So we actually, I think overall gained ammo. And obviously as we can hopefully keep gaining more ammo. Dude, this sniper, yeah, I want to keep adding more, uh, more range and bounces to this. New weapon, though. Um. Ooh, okay, on dash, yeah, shoot a piercing bullet to nearest enemy. For each point of max health, get way more damage. Sounds good. So I can, I have like a lance. Look at that. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Liking this build. So far, at least. Hopefully, we'll be able to find our my, my leaf here. It's a new weapon mod here. Um, mm, 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 Hmm. Every 2.5 seconds, trigger this weapon. Um. Okay, for each point of max health, get more damage size and less bullet speed. So we'll do growth hormones on the blade dance. So as we get more max HP, those blades that uh, come out every time we kill an enemy are going to get better and better. Seems like a good little combo there. We're gonna, now that we know we're committing to the max HP, since we have so many boss rerolls, we are gonna probably try to take uh, growth hormones as much as possible. Oh, dude, that was sick. We had so many kills. I like this build. Okay, uh, giant blade for each point. Okay, so this is just for each point of max health in general, more damage, size, and range. So it's like the growth hormones, but as a relic. Um, though this is more ammo, max dashes, and more health pickup drops. I think overall it's probably better the giant blade. So in ge oh my gosh, look at how big those sniper bullets are now. Oh my gosh. And that's going to keep getting more and more broken, especially if we can find my relic. I'm hoping we can find my relic. This is the boss uh, round here now. Because you really want that, like, ideally in the first thing here. That seems OP. <laughs> That's what I love about this game. It's like everything feels OP. Everything in this game feels OP. That's how you know you've made a good roguelike. Okay, hello, Mr. Bloodthirsty Executioner. I don't know how good of a boss killing thing we've got, but... good at killing all the people he summons, so. Okay, we're looking for my relic. I have eight rerolls. <gasps> there we go. Grinds Monstera, baby. 5% chance on non-summon enemy death. <sighs> get a max health pickup. And then uh, on all the pickups, right, we get more leaves. So we have my relic here. All we gotta do is win the danger five run. This is the run, y'all. We're hoping to find more and more max HP. 
every time I pick up pickups, we get those rainbow leaves, which is cool. <gasps> this is the run. Okay, new weapon. And deflect 75% chance to shoot a homing piercing beam. Sure. It's cool you're getting recognized in some games. I know, it's it's a really cool feeling. It's a really cool feeling. Right? Oh, there we go. We got a leaf. Did you see how big that leaf was? Did they get so big because of, I think, the... Oh, this is amazing. Um, but yeah, especially like when we got our... Because we have the item in Brotato. We have the item in Peglin. We have the item in Brick Odyssey. Um, there's another Dice Heroes or some really small niche indie game. We have it in this one. Um, okay, weapon mod. More homing and more range for the sniper. Yeah, more homing and more range on the sniper. Perfect, perfect. Okay. So we're only in zone two. Obviously, we've said there's three zones. We've somehow not been having a hard time managing to to win, but hopefully this max HP helps us. This is a new relic. More max health, less max ammo. On area enter, regain one health. Perfect. Because our ammo is now dependent on our max HP, so the downside of that doesn't even matter anymore. Anything we can do for more max HP. Sometimes I feel like we don't have a ton of damage, but hey. That's just a theory. A game theory. What if when Game Theory announced he retired and he was like saying all the people that was taking over the channels, how would y'all have reacted if I was just one of them? I just took over like Fashion Theory or something. <laughs> Okay, weapon mod. Um, mm, um, um, not liking any of these. More homing and more range. Okay, more homing and range, I guess, on the sniper. I don't know if it's bad that I didn't end up adding a bunch of uh, damage, but... It does seem like the homing, there's so much homing now that the bounce on this stuff doesn't matter anymore. Hey, max HP. Oh, another max HP. We just got two max HP drops from our leaf. Oh, this is sick. I love that it added like a new pickup type. That's so cool. Another one! We've gained three max HP that wave. One max health, three max ammo. <gasps> On hurt, 75% chance to spawn ammo or stamina pickup. Or another beast fangs, which when I take damage, I hurt people for all of my max health. We're gonna say the emergency contact so I can get more pickups for more leads. I would be worried if it was fashion theory. You could see game theory. <laughs> Am I not fashionable enough for you? <laughs> Yeah, this whole time I've actually been a, a fashion designer. I've had my work on Broadway. That's not... Actually, yeah, that could work. I could have be a fashion designer and have my work on Broadway. That's not the stereotypical fashion thing, but you know what? It could happen. Yeah, they actually offered me... I, I could have been the uh, fashion theory guy. I, I turned it down, though. I wanted other people to have the opportunity. Um... Hmm. Plus one bounce, wavy bullets, on hit, shoot four bullets in random directions. Okay, we're gonna put Strange Worm on the blades. So yeah, I'm the uh, I'm the voice actor for Mr. Krabs. 
Um, turn down uh, fashion theory job offer. Uh, I don't remember any of my other true aspects of my life that uh, some some may call uh, lies. Some uh, some haters, you know. Just like you turned down to be the president. Yeah, I didn't. I, that that was there was a little bit more of a back and forth, right? I, it wasn't a straight turning down. I could have been the president, but yeah. Max health. This is a relic here. More damage, more elites. Uh, more damage, more bullet speed, less max ammo. Or more ma uh, Yeah, we'll do that. Damage seems really important. Damage would be nice. Yeah, because there's all sorts of... Like, a, a lot of these enemies, like that guy I just killed, I think is a Danger 5 exclusive enemy. Okay, this is the boss area for boss area two. I wonder if I could uh, re-roll again. I, I think we might be able to find our my leaf thing again. Now that we have so many re-rolls, I might be able to find two instances of my leaf. And at that point, we're gonna have so much max HP, right? A lot of our stuff scaling on max HP. That would be crazy if I could find my leaf again. That would be sick. We have so many pickups via some of the stuff I've Chosen to have. I love seeing my room. Oh! Oh, another max HP, baby! Another max HP. Okay, hello, Mr. Macro Master Necromancer. So, yeah, the, the guys that summon here, I don't think have a 5% chance to give me my item. Can't just like grind bosses. Hey, but he dropped it. <laughs> Got four layers of uh, max HP. <laughs> okay. Um, would approve if you made all uh, leaves a rainbow. <laughs> okay, we're looking for my leaf again here. I don't know if we can, but we gotta look for it, right? Um, okay, we did not find it. We did find four max HP though. <laughs> we did find four max HP. And remember everything, oh my gosh, we are now on, we got two drops already. Oh my gosh. This is sick. This is crazy. I don't think it works that way, but it'd be super neat if it did. What, f having multiple boss relics? The only reason I think you can is because it says... Oh! I misread that. It says for each point of max health, more leaf damage. I thought it was just by taking it, it buffed the leaf damage. That's why I thought you could have multiple. Okay, I misread that. I misread my own item. Okay, weapon mod here. Um... Mm, got any more of those growth hormones? Growth hormones, here we go. Okay, for each point of max health, more damage, size, and bullet speed. We'll go ahead and give that to the bees. Yeah, our ammo bar, because it's our ammo bar is dependent on our max HP. It's amazing. It is amazing, dude. And the, the leaves do so much damage. Because for each point of max HP, it got buffed up 25% more damage. <laughs> okay. Um, this is a relic. More damage, haste, and spread? Uh, relics I know you can stack, though. More health, pickup drops. Survival guide, maybe. Yeah, I'll do that. 
More pickup drops, the better. That's more leaves. Wait, no way. No, no, that was health pickup drops. I was gonna say, no way that applies to the my rainbow leaf drop. Hey, Cyril. How's the studio going? Oh, are you talking about uh, what I did yesterday? Yeah, yesterday I just worked in uh, someone else's studio. Uh, one of the contracting things. Worked all day. But it was chill. If you're talking about uh, the studio that we're, we're going to build, that'll be in like a week and a half from now. Oh, and my roommate moves out. But we got our, uh, we just uh, got our, our awesome rainbow item was added to this game. So we're having fun with that right now. Um, on trigger, 15% chance to trigger all. I don't have any last shot effects. More range, bullet speed, less sped. Um, on hit, shoot bullets to nearest enemy. No, we just need growth hormones. The more growth hormones, the better. <laughs> because it's all based on max HP, and that is what these leaves are giving me. There we go, more max HP. Oh my god, we got it again. More max HP. We're about to be six instances. Dude, and the more I have, the more broken everything I have becomes. Look at how big these bees are. The bees are going to be so slow. True. But they will kill anyone near us, though. Oh, my gosh. This is a fun build. My relic is amazing in this game. This honestly might be the best. Uh, the the. I think this is the most fun my relic has ever been in any of those games, right? Because Peglin, I love it. Uh, you know, max HP scaling. Uh, Brotato's cool because it's max HP and I think HP regeneration scaling. Brick Odyssey is cool because it did a unique effect where the rainbow leaves actually fall. This is, there's like three effects on my leaf here. So I gotta say, this is probably, shout out to the dev and shout out to this game for making one of the coolest instances of my rainbow leaf here, you know? I'm considering getting this game, but I don't know if you can turn off this screen shake. It seems uh, so cool. I like Brotato plus Tiny Rogues. Yeah, they literally updated it to make it a little bit more similar to Brotato too, so I'll look if there's a screen shake option afterwards, but uh, if I remember. Um, okay, give me more growth hormones. Uh, for each empty health point, more haste and movement speed. Um, I don't know, maybe that would have been good. Um, okay, well, for each empty, more haste to movement speed. Oh, that was a relic. Oh, oh, that's for everything. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't know that was a relic. Didn't know it was a relic. Hey, Leaf. We get one more. We're going to have our sixth row of health. There we go. Six rows of health. Oh my gosh, this is glorious. This is absolutely glorious. Got some more max HP. So when it's summoning all of these enemies late game, got another one! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, this build's amazing. Okay, uh, weapon mod. More range and bounces we're gonna give to the B. Mainly just took it for those around uh, the the uh, the range. Those bees are huge. That they are. Yeah, I think that yeah that range really helped out those bees. Just look at the amount of stuff that is starting to spawn though. That's some more max HP though. These guys are starting to have so much health. What is up with that? Oh, I think that guy couldn't get killed until other people died or something. Even more max HP. Relics remind me of Risk of Rain 2. Yeah, someone was saying that earlier. I'm sure this dev played some uh, Risk of Rain. Got two more instances of max HP. We have a whole nother row. <laughs> okay, new relic here. Um, 
More damage and more uh, bullet speed. Yeah, let's take that actually. The ma uh, minus max ammo doesn't matter because our ammo is actually uh, based on our uh, on our uh, health. So. Hey, got more max HP. Yeah, we've done a video or two on Risk of Rain 2. It's one of those games, I also, I think that was when I was a game review channel way back when, so there's some really old review, um, my channel of it, but, uh, oh, Leaf, Leaf in the top right. But Risk of Rain 2 is one of those games that I acknowledge is like one of the best roguelikes probably like out there. For some reason though, I just like, I, it's like, I, I can't get super into it. I mean, I played like 10, 15 hours, something like that. Kind of similar to like uh, Dead Cells. I know Dead Cells is an incredible game. I just like, I, I personally for me, never got super into it. Kind of same to Hades, honestly. I only have like 10, 15 hours in Hades. We've been doing a little bit more because people have been adding into the community game world, which speaking of which, um, if you guys are uh, members on YouTube or subs on Twitch, we're doing a community game wheel this Thursday. Um, okay. Give me more growth hormones. I want more growth hormones. Nope, but we'll do damage and spread for the blade dance here. Yeah, Slay the Spire, I got so much stuff. And Dev's gonna have to recode the ammo bar. <laughs> yeah, I still, I don't think I've played Inkbound. Okay, this is it. I think this is the final boss wave here. Like I said, I am not ending this video until we beat Danger 5 with my relic. So, could be right here. Perfect ending, if we could. So be a little bit careful. I got a lot of max HP, but last couple times I've like been like, Oh, I have a bunch of max HP. Let me just like fuck around. I end up like almost dying, so. But we have, a, we have way more max HP than we've had in the past. Yeah, yeah, actually, mainly 100% because of DEFCON, actually, on the game wheel uh, for Hades. It's like, uh, I think uh, Bradley, uh, one of our YouTube members, is the reason we were doing uh, Isaac, too. And for those of you guys that are watching this video that might not know what the community game wheel is, right, for uh, all the uh, Twitch subs and, and um, YouTube members, as a kind of small thank you every other week. Spin the community game wheel. Everyone that's there gets an entry. And, uh, and then I'll play some viewer requested games. It's always fun. A lot of times it's like Jackbox. Okay, see, I'm still taking an insane amount of damage. Danger 5 does not mess around. It just keeps going and going and going. Half the enemies are spawn spawning suicide things here as well. Dude, we have even more max HP. <laughs> I remember all this max HP is buffing the crap out of all this stuff here. Oh jeez. How do I get extra entries? Well, we technically like for the first spin each time we like if people have things on the legacy wheel back when it used to be a Twitch channel point, they get an extra. But as of right now, there's no extra ways to get entries. Okay, here we go. Undead guard. I know that could be a cool uh, tier though for the higher tiers of Patreon and YouTube for people that want to help support the channel. It could be a part of the reward could be like you have a, uh, as long as you're, you're, you're on that tier, you get a uh, like double game wheel entries or something. Okay, we're halfway there though. You know, I think your relic's kind of good. <laughs> it do seem pretty good. Though the boss relics in this game tend to be really good for different types of builds. As long as you like kind of try to do something on a build. Oh, oh God. Oh, do we have to fight? Oh, we have to fight two bosses because it's danger five. Okay, okay. I'm up for the challenge here. Get him bees. Get him bees. <laughs> I do so little damage. Dude, danger five does not mess around. A lot of bees. <sighs> oh 
almost there. Careful, you're only at half health. <laughs> Shit, guys, I don't know if I can do it. Oh, dude, we just so aggressive with it. Let's go! Finally beat it, and we did have my relic. I got an achievement, win a run in Danger 5. It was the first time we did that. First time we did that. So now I think that's all the difficulties. Now there's like these other characters that are, um, you know, you could save up for or something. Uh, let me go ahead and we'll just go ahead and get some of these cheaper unlocks. There's still, still more for us to be unlocking, which is crazy. Also, um, there is a, there is a setting for screen shake. There is a setting for screen shape shake. For those of you guys that don't like it, I like it, but uh, yes. So time to strike uh, added one of the best time to grind rainbow monstera leaves. Uh, I think uh, out there uh, here, I want to, I can't remember the, uh, the, 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 I'm a professional streamer, Ravent, Rav forever. Might be pronouncing that wrong, uh, but that's the dev of this game. Uh, and um, yeah, this is a little $5 game. So as a, as a thank you, if you guys were someone that's interested in getting this game, they're cool. They added a rainbow monster relief. That means, uh, I don't know, maybe pick out the game if you want. It's a fun game. Uh, very, very fun, right? We have, uh, I don't know, we've done, this is now our fifth episode. We've got about five hours in the game, still have stuff for us to unlock. Uh, the big change, right? Making it more like Brotato with the characters, I think is a, is a really good um, uh, change right now. Someone's getting it right now. <laughs> Sweet. So, um, you know, go show the devs some love because he made one of the best iterations of my Rainbow Monstera Leaf. You guys know I love spreading this leaf into as many indie games as possible. Uh, and I'm super happy. It was super fun. Great excuse to play this game some more and stuff like that. So especially now that there's a new update, right? Let me know if you want to uh, see more of this game in the future. Uh, or if there's any more updates or anything like that. Obviously, there's still a bunch of characters to, to unlock and stuff. So let me know if you want to see more. Uh, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys subscribe. Ring that bell. I go to the big boy YouTuber say to be notified if there is some more time to strike videos. Um, they'll be on the screen. Check out our playlist. Buy my merch if you want the rainbow leaf on your body. Uh, and uh, if you're going to be grinding out some time to strike on your own, then I wish you guys luck and see you all next time.